everybody, and welcome back. We are here, we are back, doing some magic. Felt weird skipping an entire week. It's like almost the longest yeah, I've gone right without playing Christmas. magic. Yeah, but uh, it's a new year, so it's happy 2018, year. everybody. If you have any New Year's resolutions, magic-related or not, leave them in the comments, because I'm always interested to hear those sorts of things from you guys. Um, yeah, and I was just... Thought I would remind everybody, if you didn't see the blurb in the beginning of the video, Flipside Gaming, you can use our promo code, get 10% off your next order, and uh, the proceeds for that go go to us and uh, help us create content for you. So, go on over there, check out. You're going to buy cards anyway, so <laughs> might as well might as well help out your your friends, your chubby mm-hmm. buddies. Um, Mr. Boopster let himself go over yeah. the break. He's a little... <laughs> a little bigger than I remember him being. He's a little pudgy. A little pudgier. <laughs> he had a good holiday. That's it. Yeah. So uh, we are doing modern for you today. I'm going to move him off because he is throwing off the white balance of this entire thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're doing modern today. Uh, two really sweet decks we got here. Uh, both both quite brewy. So uh, I'll go over what I'm playing first. I, I'm calling this deck Dinosaur Vengeance. And the reason for that is it's basically a Gorio's Vengeance type shell combined with, like, a mid-range dinosaur aggro sort of list. It runs G-Shot as the big Gorio Vengeance, Gorio's Vengeance target, um, which can just dump a bunch of dinosaurs into play. Now, this deck is obviously a little bit slower and a little bit less consistent than gr- the traditional Grishel brand type decks, but uh, what I like those about... Those don't have dinosaurs. Yeah, those, for one, those don't have dinosaurs. And what I actually like about this deck a little bit more is that if if someone, like, is playing a control deck and they end your gigantic turn like or they just kill gristlebrand in response to something or whatever you kind of just fizzle out completely this one can play as like a mid-range aggro deck with like uh regisaur alphas and like the six drops are actually castable um so that's kind of what i like about this one better plus it's dinosaurs everyone likes dinosaurs exactly yeah uh and um, you i'm doing a list that comes from uh saffron olive it is the five color Zuberas. Yeah. Zubera tribal, because <laughs> no one even knew those creature types existed. Yeah. Yeah, it's that Kamigawa block special there. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, it's a very, very interesting deck, and, uh, I had never heard of Zuberas until, no, until, until the video. this deck, so. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, to decide who goes first, it is a new year. So let's. I don't think we have an 18 sided. Yeah, I was gonna do a 20 and an 18, but uh, how could we do this? Hmm. Oh, I got it. Okay. So. Okay, we're just gonna roll a 20, and whoever gets closest to 18 wins. Sure. <laughs> oh, one. Oh, jeez, 19. Okay, you got it. <laughs> So, uh, you'll be going first, I assume? Yeah. Yes. And we'll see you in game one. All right, game one. Go ahead. We've got... Those. Whoop. And for me, this is what I'm working with. Ta-da! All right. Lead us off. This will be the first permanent put into play of 2018 from us. Temp Garden tapped. All right. Sure not, not super exciting. <laughs> Draw a card. Eh. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but I think this turn we're going to go for an untapped Blood Crypt. Going to 18. And we're going to do some Faithless Looting. So we'll draw two cards. Uh, those actually are probably fine. So we'll discard. Um, cathartic reunion and a G Shoth. Sun's Avatar. Oh my. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Unclaimed territory, naming Zubera. Yep. And. A floating dream, Zubera. Sure. <laughs> Drago. Untap. Draw a card. Yeah, if you've never seen this deck before, uh, definitely look at the card overlays, because <laughs> a lot of these cards are, like, very underwhelming on their surface, but combined, they're quite good. 
Let's just go for a wooded foothills. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Blooded strand. And an ember fist Zubera. Sure. That's the scariest one. one. Actually, both of these are pretty scary. 17. Here go. 16. Because I would really like to not draw another land. Um, let's get a stomping ground. Untap. Draw a card. Hmm. That's interesting. Stomping around tapped. And let's go for it. Gorio's Vengeance. Yep. Choosing G Shot Sun's Avatar. So return target legendary creature card from your graveyard to play to the battlefield. This is the only one in the deck. Gains haste. And remove from the game at end of turn. But what's nice about this is I can beat in for seven. It's Trample Vigilance Haste. So do I block two damage? That's two less cards. Does it matter? Uh, it could. It's more how important is this to your game plan. <laughs> See, we shouldn't have attacked, because then I could have... Blo double block. And yeah, actually got some decent value. Yeah, I'd only get my top three. If you did it that way. Think. Oh, we have that. Yeah, we're gonna block two of it. Okay. So Deal one damage to you. Yes, fifteen, and then I get my top five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I got one thing, which is kind of two things when you think about it. So we'll get a Regisaur Alpha, which comes in with a 3-3 three, three, and gives my other dinosaurs haste. Uh, so we don't have dinosaur tokens. Here's a really scary centaur. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this gets exiled into turn. Go ahead. End of your turn. Crack that going. 14. Not the most exciting G-Shot, that activation. At least it got something. Yeah, I think there's 15 targets. It's nice if you can chain these two. If you find a replacement for it, Legend Rule, get rid of the old one that's going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. But this guy will be fine. Untap. Draw for turn. Cavernous Souls naming Zubera. Yep. And... Oh, look at the art on these. God, that's how it does look so weird. It's also a spirit. Which is interesting. A Blood Throne Vampire. Ooh, okay. That would have been good last turn. <laughs> Intergo. Draw. Hmm, funny. Um, bu, 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 bu. so you can sack that to make that a three three, and trade with this, I guess. So that doesn't seem super great for you. So I'll attack you for seven. Second pump. Sure. Draw a card. And yeah, we'll trade. Deal. So four. Go to ten. Dead dino. There's a mountain Dead vampire. Actually, I'm not going to play that yet, because I'm going to flashback of Faithless Looting. 
draw two. Oh boy. Um, discard mana, confluence, and a G shot. And a play. No. Go ahead. Untap. Drop a turn. Unclaimed territory, naming Zubera. Yep. Enter go. Mm. Looks like someone didn't have great draws. Oh, you could you could be sitting on Return to the Ranks or the Is it Return to the Ranks? The, the instant speed one? I don't know. Draw a card. Um There's a mountain. Let's go for a Through the Breach. Yep. And G shot. <laughs> oh my. And then I will attack you for 11. Well. So I figured you have it. But... We can rally the Ancestors, which is the instant speed yes. one. So return each creature card with converted mana cost X or less. Mm -hmm. And so with X equals 2, we get these guys back. Not bad. And we shall, holding priority, sack these two guys. Yep. To Blood Throne. So, and so do you want to just explain kind of yeah. how, how that so, works? So Zuberas trigger whenever they go into the graveyard from play, and then they check how many Zuberas have went into the graveyard. As they resolve. So by holding priority and getting rid of both of them at once... <laughs> Then when the ability resolves, it'll see that two have went to the graveyard, so I get two effects. Yep. So the Floating Dream, I get to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And the Ember Fist, I get to deal two damage, however I please. Yes. And so he dies anyway. He dies anyway, yeah. So he gets sacrificed. Not and really this is currently a five? Points. Yeah, and that's a five, five. Yeah. So we'll deal two damage to you. Two damage to me. Thirteen. And then you yeah, have block like this. Sure. So two will get through there and four, so Quick six total. Six, go to four. And then I get my top two cards. Please let there be a dino. No dino. Ah. <laughs> You're pretty low, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's get sacrificed. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, but I kind of need to. Sacred Foundry untapped. And here is a dripping tongue, Zubera. That's the one that makes tokens? Yes. Okay. Hey. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Well, that should probably do it. Untap Sacred Foundry. Going to 11. You got the guy who has direct damage, don't you? <sighs> <laughs> well, it didn't really matter because it gives him haste anyway. Um, Burning Sun's Avatar, so three to that. In response. Oh, sure. We shall rally the ancestors. Are you responding to me targeting this or are you responding to this? Responding to a ring? cast. Okay, sure. So don't get these abilities yet. So you get all those back? Yeah. And the center's battlefield. Uh hmm. So you're just gonna sack them to the blood throne anyway. I mean I'm a I'm at two, so. Oh you're a two? Yeah. Like I went from four to two. Oh, okay. That's why I'm just yeah. like I don't wanna do sure. this, but I also wanna cast this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So, so it doesn't matter which one yeah. it is. <laughs> then that. I mean, you could still respond and draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, but I'm not responding anything that can gain me life, so True. it doesn't True. matter. I had that too, just in case. So, <laughs> all right. So that was game one. Uh, he kind of got a little bit to see how your deck works, but not like really. So hopefully we will see that in game two. All right, game two. Go ahead and show your hand. We've got... A bit of redundancy. Just a bit, though. <laughs> Whoop. 
So, um, as I'm showing this hand, uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to keep less sketchy hands on camera. So clearly, I'm <laughs> clearly I'm following my own rules. All right. Windswept teeth, Jergo. Draw card. Well, that's better than what I was going to do, I guess. Mana Confluence. Ow. For green. Let's commune with dinosaurs. So we get our top five. These could potentially be better as, like, Grizzly Salvage. Because uh, I am playing black and green. And Grizzly Salvage dumps other things into my graveyard. So it kind of, it's almost like drawing two cards. But, I mean, it's a dinosaur deck. Yeah. So you gotta commune with dinosaurs. You gotta commune with the dinosaurs. Um... Yeah, so I have to be responsible here and uh, take a Bloodstain Mire. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the rest of these go in the bottom in any order. I don't know why I'm shuffling. doesn't really matter. So I'll put in I that mean, order. You're shuffling them anyway if you're going to play that as your land next turn. True. So. Very much true. Go ahead. End of your turn. Crack that going to 19. Mmm. gonna be a godless shrine. Okay. Untap. Draw for turn. Now we're going to do the weird thing and play Unclaimed Territories, naming Seder. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't even know you had those in the deck. Wow, okay. And we're going to play a Seder Wayfinder. So when you were talking about redundancy, my guess is you have like all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wouldn't name Unclaimed yeah. if that wasn't the case. Yeah. And we will take this Temple Garden. Yep. And these go in the graveyard. Kind of sucks losing that... Uh... Turn to the ranks, but the other ones aren't bad. Enter so you can get them back. Draw a card. Didn't I just bottom? <laughs> okay, okay, whatever, dude. Um, it's the scry bug. Apparently, ow for red. Faithless looting. Draw two. Hmm. This card too. Jeez. Um Carnage Tyrant and Collective Brutality. Not the most value in the world, but that's no. alright. Here's a tap of Blood Crypt. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. Temple Garden tapped. And a Seder Wayfinder. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. That's kind of hilarious. Take yeah. this Sacred Foundry. Yep. This could be a pretty big turn if you have something to get those back with. Andrew go. Draw. Oh boy. Um... What do I do here? Honestly, I think it's Mountain. Ow. 17. Flashback Faithless Looting. Draw two. And discard two, which will be... Um... Bloodstain Mire and Through the Breach. And we'll play Wooded Foothills. Crack. I'm 16. And I go all the way to 14. To get. Untap Stomping Ground. Living painfully. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any basic. Forests in this deck, so I need the green. Birds of Paradise. Go ahead. Untap. Less impressive on turn four, but it's fine. 
Drop return. So you don't have a red one in there, so maybe I'm not just dead. That'd be pretty close, though. Sacred Foundry, untapped. Mm -hmm. And... Tapping for colorless. Yep. For an Ember Fist Zubera. There's the red one. Yep. And then we shall return to the ranks, convoking these. Yep. To return one, two, three. Yep. So you get three with that, right? Yeah. Return to the ranks. I always get return to the ranks and the other one confused. Yeah, return to the ranks has convoked, but they stay around. Yeah. So you have to pay more mana. The other one, they would be exiled on your beginning of your next turn, I think. Yeah, but, it's but if you speed. sacrifice them, then it's fine, which is yeah. what everyone uses it for. And it gets any number back, as long mm -hmm. as you paid enough. Wow, you had three of those, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I milled the other two. Huh. I had the one in my starting hand. They really liked uh, being on the top. So these ones stick around, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's your go. Yeah, you can do all that nonsense instant speed. So no real reason not to. Hmm. Yeah. Not in great shape. Um. Hmm. 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 What do I do here? Pretty much the only thing we can do, I guess. Here's a Wood of Foothills. Which, since I have to pay a life kind of for this anyway, might as well do it this way. Go to 13. Although, pretty sure I'm more or less just dead. But that will get a mountain. Because I've got two mountains in here. That Bloodstained Mire really wanted to be in my hand, even though I really don't need it. <laughs> and well, let's just go for... Yeah, I don't really have to worry about blocking too much, I don't think. So, 5 mana, Regisaur Alpha. And I'm not going to attack. Pass turn. End of your turn. Sacrifice a Seder Wayfinder to scry 1. And that goes to the bottom. And... Untap. Draw for turn. Wow, okay. Did you get the fourth return to the ranks? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Flooded Strand. Mr. Boopster lost the weight. White and the colorless. For a silent chant, Zubera. Yep. That's the life gain one, yes? Yes. And... Seder Wayfinder. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Unclaimed territory. Sure. See, Viscera Seer, that's not really the one I want multiples of. Yeah. Bloodthrown Vampire would be pretty good here. Because then every time, you, every time you loop this, I also kind of have to chump block it. 
Well, it's never going to be able to. It could have attacked with the return to the ranks, but the other one's not going to allow sure. it to attack. Oh, yeah, so. that's true. It's not too worrisome. I'd rather just more Zubaras. Yeah. Turgo. Untap. Draw. Mm. Bloodstain Mire. Three, four, five, six, seven. By the way, this deck should never have seven mana. <laughs> just gonna just gonna say that right now, because there's only like twenty lands. Um Hmm. Lands for days. Uh, yeah. Okay, four, five. Here's another one of these. Gotta give each other haste. Look at that. Yep. Uh, should I make you go in on doing some of this now, maybe? I suppose it couldn't hurt. I have a lot of toughness, though. I mean, mm -hmm. nothing really has trample, though. True. Well, these have trample. Oh, do the three threes have trample? Yep, they have oh, trample. They do too. Um. No, they don't. Oh, no, yeah, they, they do. do. With trample. Dinosaurs. I mean, our tokens don't have trample yeah, our on tokens. them, but they they should. Uh, so you have to, yeah, you know what, Let's see what I do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, puts me to six, and then four of these would die, puts me to two, Unless you have more stuff, but if you had more stuff, you probably would have done it, so... Uh, yeah. Tech. 14. Crack flooded strength. This is probably very unwise, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> we shall find our hallowed fountain. Yep. And then shall sack a Seder Wayfinder to scry one. Sure. Two is the bottom. And then block those taking the six. And then before damage yep. we shall sack these four. Yes. All at once. So we shall draw four cards, since he sees four Azubaras in the graveyard. Yep. We shall make four 1-1 one, one colorless spirits. And there's a weird Kamigawa ones that yeah. don't have flying, so we'll use Servos since they're the closest. We'll deal four damage. Do we deal it to you, or do we just shoot one of the centaurs? Slash actually dinosaurs. I think... You're 13. I'm at 13. And with the cards that we've drawn, we you shall also gain a bunch of you. life too, so that's worth noting. So and you're shooting we, me for four? Yeah. Go to nine. And then we gain two for each Zubera, so we gain eight. Yep. Going up to 26. And then you take six. Going down to 20. <laughs> Go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. Attack you for six. Go to three. Unclaimed territory, naming Zubera. Yep. And then we shall complete the playset. <laughs> Why not? Oh no. Ah. oh no. Oh <laughs> no. That's nothing I want. Here's Captain Souls. Sure. Not that I'm countering much. <laughs> and... Mm. 
blood throne vampire. Sure. That's a good one. And a life gaining Zubera. Ooh. Okay. It's gonna be a pain to get through. Enter. Mm, what's in my hand here? Um. Hmm. Crack this. Going to two. Because I don't think the difference at this point really matters all that much. Could if I don't find... Like, if I find a rally, which I've just mailed yeah. one. True. Then you're dead to the ember. But if I just draw an ember, now you're dead. Whereas opposed... That's if you were three, I'd have had to have a... Well, that's, that's assuming... Zubera. That's also assuming that you keep exactly what's on your board, though. Yeah. Like, you need to keep this guy around, which I don't know if you'll be able to this turn. You might have to chump lock. Well, remember, I can also just swing back if you can't kill me this turn. That's true. Well, I, I'm pretty confident I can present lethal. Ugh, maybe not with those draws. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another land <laughs> in my 20 land deck. Um, I'm going to run out pretty quick. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, so so with what I have in play, I can only block five things, so I'm dead anyway. So I have to present lethal this turn. All right, well, we'll do our best. Footsteps of the Gorio, returning Carnage Tyrant. Because this one doesn't have to be legendary. It's just target creature card. And what's interesting about this is it's a sorcery. So normally you'd think, oh, that's terrible. Because, you know, you have to get a haste thing or else you're just putting it into play so it can die again. These give all dinosaurs haste. So it's, uh, so good. it's a pretty sweet little synergy there. And since I am absolutely 100%, because that's the other card in my hand, 100% dead no matter what I do. All in. 14-21. Well, yeah, I guess technically I'm not presenting lethal this turn. Yeah, I could just sack and go to yeah. one. But. Because you can, like, just throw that guy in front of something. We're going to sack this guy to scry one. Sure. Who's the bottom? We don't really need that anymore. I swear to God, if there's a G-Shot right there, I'd be very upset. <laughs> and... Because I could cast it. <laughs> do we sack that, or do we do those? Bunny here. Sack Viscera Seer to Viscera Seer to scry one. Sure. That's still not a rally. Can't make a fun second turn. I mean, I don't think you're going to find your fourth one. <laughs> and then Just statistically, it's so unlikely. Block like that. One, oh, each of them? Yeah. With one? Okay. Each of them with one. Sure. And then we shall eat the Silent Zubera. Okay. Four damage. 22. Yep. So you take... Uh, tw 14, 17. Six, 13. These guys don't have trample. Oh, you blocked each one of these, not yeah. one of them. Yeah, right. You're right. Um, yeah, 13. Best I could do. Nine. Okay, and then... Hang on. So, oh. end of turn, this gets sacrificed. Untap. Which is why I couldn't survive another attack. <laughs> Because don't get to keep, keep him around, unfortunately. Drough turn. The scries weren't good enough. <laughs> You're just really trying to find your fourth one? <laughs> yeah. So, we need those. Okay, so, add a black for the Zubera. Yep. And it doesn't matter. Sure. For uh, Ashen Skin Zubera. Okay. And then we'll add a black and a colorless over here for another pale guy. Yep. And then a green and a white for a drippy tongue guy. Okay. You got it. 
And then we shall sack them all at once. So you'll discard four card or six cards, and I'll make three one ones. You got one Gorio's Vengeance, <laughs> which I would totally cast if I could. <laughs> it's plus six. Yep. And then we shall. So three of those have Sending Sickness. Swing for seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Swing for eleven, huh? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw this in front of the Blood Throne Vampire. Then I'm going to crack <laughs> Bloodstain Mire, going to one. Find a swamp. And then I think I'm going to add a white mana <laughs> and go to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, you got me. Despite technically me killing myself, you got me. All right, so that was game two. Pretty exciting stuff. And we'll see you game three. All right, game three. So show my hand. Um, so you know how I was saying <laughs> that uh, my New Year's resolution was to not keep sketchy hands again. <laughs> wow, well, looks like I'm keeping another one. The upside's way too high though, potentially. Good. And we've got. Those. Whoop. All right. So here's a man of confluence. I will go to 19 for red. We're going to faithless looting. Please be good. Ugh. Ew. Ew. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. Uh... Damn. Okay. Uh, we'll da uh, we'll discard a ugh, a burning sun's avatar and a through the breach. Go ahead. That okay? Yep. <laughs> Draw for turn. There's a reason. Flooded strand. Crack that. Going to nineteen. We're gonna go all the way to seventeen though. To eventually find <laughs> the shrine with no god. You got it. Untapped. Interesting. <sighs> See if 2018 is going to be good to me. <laughs> Please be good to me, 2018. And a viscera seer. Sure. Turgo. Yes. Swamp. Ow, 18. Cathartic Reunion. And we have to discard two cards, and then we draw three cards. Which is kind of not something I quite want to do, but that's all right. We're going to discard through the Breach and Burning Sun's Avatar. <laughs> One, two, three. You really don't Jesus. like those, do you? Well, the thing is, those I don't really have breaches. much of a choice. <laughs> Go ahead. Untap. I'm very limited in what I'm able to do, and a five drop and a six drop are not things I'm able to territory. do. <laughs> Naming Zubera. Yeah. Don't have to name Seder this time. And <laughs> here's a drippy tongue guy. Sure. Turgo. Draw card. I don't see a good shelf in there, but you know what? Maybe just blocking an extra point might matter. Possibly. 17 for green. Here's a bird. Here's another mana confluence. Go ahead. Yeah, that's not really the land you want multiple of, is it? Nope. <laughs> Untap. Might have been better to looting. Raw for turn. But who knows. Flooded strand. We'll do that next turn. And here's the floaty water guy. Sure. <laughs> Turgo. I'm digging these nicknames. Draw a card. At least I'm not dying right away. So that's something. Um, ow. 16. We're gonna flashback Faithless Looting. I mean, you're doing all the work for me. I really <laughs> am. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one's fine, I guess. Um, we're gonna discard 
Uh, what are we going to discard? Hmm. We're going to discard Carnage Tyrant and It's a big boy. It's a big boy. It's going to be a through the breach. No. It's going to be a birds actually. <laughs> As weird as that is. And then we will ouch ourselves again, go to 15, to commune with dinosaurs. Top five cards. I, at this point, will take a G-Shoth or a land. Oops, why did I do that? Uh, that was my top five. Ew, really? Was that, seriously? That was... Did you miss? No, I didn't miss, just... Wow, okay. I'll get a Blood Crypt. And yeah, we'll put these on the bottom in any order. And did I play a land this no, turn yet? No? Okay. So I'll do that. Blood Crypt tapped. Go ahead. End of your turn. Beloved Strand Crack going to 16. Can't believe that. Find a temple garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so normally, like, if you, if you look through a graveyard like this and you see, like, all these things, you'd think, like, wow, that's a really good reanimator package. None of them are legendary, so <laughs> Gorio's Vengeance isn't going to do the job. And I really just had to discard those because there's no chance I was ever casting them, and I really needed mana and the cheap things. might have been a little <laughs> better when you got those extra legendary dinosaurs from Rivals. Yeah, yeah, very possible. Then at least you could Goryeo any of them. True. And if we had more footsteps of the Goryeo, honestly. Yeah, I think we'd only ever found one at a yeah. local store, so. Raw for turn. I actually thought we had more when I built this deck, and then we only found one, so I had to put in some makeshift mannequins. Which I haven't seen any of yet. Where are those? <laughs> Come on. Going to go for... A drippy tongue guy. Drippy tongue guy. And then... We're going to attack you for three. I will take three. Going to twelve. Actually getting some damage in, finally. Yeah. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Hmm... I do here. Hmm. Is there five mana currently? Hmm. What do I do? Is this better than this? Another bop. Just gonna populate it. Just gonna populate it. Go ahead. End of your turn. Crack this going to 15. Find a forest. Actually, mannequin off the top wouldn't be terrible. Neat thing is if you makeshift mannequin and carnage tyrant, then it's downside, isn't it downside downside? Is this hexproof? So that's pretty cool. And we shall grizzly salvage. Yep. To reveal the top five. And wow, I am glad those are going to the graveyard. <laughs> Take this. Jeez. Well no, the Hallowed Fountain is superior. Because it's, Cause foil. it's foil and yeah. fancy. That was all go to the graveyard. That was like the best Grizzly Salvage because it got rid of all the cards I don't want. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It was and like trying five cards, kind of. Sack. Do this now? Yeah. Okay. 
So sack these, so we'll make three tokens, three tokens, and draw three cards. Yep. Not bad. Those are a little better. Untap. Draw for turn. So of course every time he's doing that he's holding priority and whatnot. Yeah, just, just don't have once. to say it every time. Mm-hmm. And we shall attack for seven. Mm. Yep, five. And then play Blood Throne Vampire. Mm hmm. Intergo. Yeah. Telephone tapped. Intergo. Sure. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> All the one ones. Uh, so bad. God. Drew everything in the exact wrong order. It's the worst. Copper line gorge tapped. I'm just dead, right? Yeah, I'm totally just dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, I'm almost up to eight mana. <laughs> ah, this is unbelievable. There's definitely no Fadeless Lootings in here. No. Mm. I guess technically... Better to do it this way. Or is it? Four, five. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Regisaur Alpha. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> God, my hand is so good, too. Untap. Just if it was good, like, well, three turns earlier. Well, so, so here's, the, here's, here's the issue that I'm having, right? So I, I cast Faithless Looting on the first turn, basically just digging for some mana. And I draw a bunch of big dorks and Goryeo's Vengeance. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't reanimate them, so I'll put it back. I flash it back, same kind of thing. I cast Cathartic Reunion, same kind of thing. Look at this. <laughs> All I need is a discard outlet, and I'm set for life. But, but I had to had, burn yeah. them all in the early turns to find a land. <laughs> uh, knowing. We shall. I'm not even dead to anything cool. Unless you got something cool. If you got something cool, I'll feel better. Grizzly salvage. Sure. Would have been nice. Yep. Yeah. We'll take this guy. Sure. And the rest go in the graveyard. And then we'll name a Cavern of Soul or a Cavern of Souls naming Zubera. Yep. We'll tap these both for black. Only Zubera mana. Mm -hmm. Cast an Ashen Skin Zubera. You got it. And then we'll sack it to our Blood Throne Vampire. And you discard a card. <laughs> Gee, Shaw. <laughs> Shark. <laughs> <laughs> so happy I found one. Yeah. There you go. You got your discard outlet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. And swing. You know what's even sadder? This is an instant. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm just like, well, you only yeah. got one man yeah. up, so yeah. I'm good. God, that's so disappointing. And I'm dead to one ones. Good lord. Okay. One one colorless, like the most god. boring you can. I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Not well, even colored. I'm gonna, yeah, there, 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 because it really doesn't matter. I'll sack the one that's blocked to pump sure, this. Sure, whatever. <sighs> yep, and I will take lethal with two freaking Gorios vengeance in my hand. So that was that. Uh, tw great start to 2018 for me. <laughs> but that's alright. At least I lost to a cool deck.
even though it was a lackluster lost, turn, too. it was yeah. a cool deck. So a tribal. I will take it. All right. So that was this matchup. And uh, yeah, we'll back, be back next week. Uh, so if you aren't familiar with what our schedule is going to be, um, we're normally going to do modern on Tuesdays. Uh, there will be exceptions made, like special exceptions. And of course, whenever there's Patreon videos, those are going to stay on Friday. And those are usually modern. So sometimes you'll get two modern a week. But uh, yeah. So next week we'll be back in the full swing for a normal schedule. So it'll be modern and then uh, sp- something kind of special on Friday. Um, but that'll be like other formats, basically anything other than yeah, Friday modern. will always be like a different format. It could yeah. be legacy or vintage or something. Unless other it's format. Patreon or there's Unless a special or... something or other. Yeah. So that was that. Hope you had hope you had a good holiday, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>